Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ann Minera and today I am actually starting a bit early because I am drawing uh, a new book and I'm drawing pages from um, or for Color Along Volume 15. We're working on Color Along Volume 14 today and today's topic is pop art. So, uh, but before we get started with the live Color Along at uh, 10 a.m., which is in about 20 minutes, uh, I am going to draw um, some pages for the new Color Along Volume book, which will begin um, September 21st, I believe is the day that that will begin. So that is where, uh, that what's happening this morning. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, let's see who's here. So many people are already here with us this morning. Sometimes I wonder whether or not um, Color Along should start earlier. Hey, good morning, Bev Larson. Elaine's here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning to Lynn. Uh, Alice has joined us this morning along with Bonnie Hughes. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so if you are joining uh, Color Along this morning for the very first time, we are coloring live from this book, Color Along Volume 14. But in the meantime, I am going to do um, draw some pages or a page or two from my new uh, coloring book, which is going to be called Color Along uh, Volume uh, 15 and I'll show you some pages that I have so far so it's always fun to draw a coloring book uh, live here on Facebook it's inspiring so color along volume 15 is going to be um, a bit different than the typical color along books and one of the major differences or the big difference is that uh, typically color along books are a compilation of a variety of my already published coloring books and um, this time around you Will, the Color Along Volume 15 will have pages that will be drawn for this book only, for only Volume 15, so they'll be exclusive uh, to Volume 15. And these are just my drawings. They're not uh, ready to uh, color yet because they're just simply um, either sketches or they have pencil and they still need to be cleaned up. So it's going to have a variety of different pages in it. Uh, line art, grayscale illustration like this one. Um, I colored a page from my new book, Sketch, the other day. Alice, I think that you had commented um, about it and how did I make it look like it was like, it was just a different technique, I guess. And the, this page is something that I said to my, when I was drawing it, immediately thought of that page and said this would be a perfect page to do that type of technique. So um, so this is my grayscale illustration page for that. Another line art drawing, this, this book will have some pages that are a little more intricate. We'll be um, diving into some different types of uh, techniques and um, coloring styles and uh, learning about some different artists like we always do with color alongs. But, just I haven't set the actual techniques yet, but um, I do know that well, and I do know a few of them, and I'll talk about it as I'm moving along here. This is going to be a page of bookmarks, and um, I'm not sure what will maybe, maybe this will be a mixed media page, it looks good for mixed media. This will be some pumpkins, um, and kind of a simple thing, but we're going to add more to it during the uh, live color along, make it more look like a realistic, uh, realistic um, page. Um, Alice saying, how did you do it? I, I asked uh, Alice to remind me about that. Um, you know, I just used colored pencil on top of one another. And it really wasn't as difficult as you would imagine. So if you just keep layering those different colors. Um, let me see if I can find that page, Alice, so I can talk about it. This is the page that... Um, Hey, good morning, Marianne. Hey, Marianne is our new admin over at the Just Color Coloring Group, and I, I want to kick myself for not asking her to do it a long time ago, but um, Marianne has always been such an incredible uh, inspiration to me when it comes to drawing a book and seeing someone color it, as many many of the rest of many people are, um, but Marianne is just so always so enthused and supportive of my uh, books. It's just incredible. And we're celebrating Christmas in July over the next couple of weeks in the Just Color Coloring Group. So um, who better than a Christmas uh, fan like Marianne, I think Melody's a Christmas fan too, um, who loves, loves, loves Christmas. So uh, Marianne is giving us a hand in the Just Color Coloring Group with uh, Christmas in July right now. And, and then we'll be continuing on as an admin as we move forward. So I'm so happy that Marianne is part of this. Anyway, um, I just basically used different layers of colors and just went back over it. The background of this page was done with a wash of gouache paint, a blue gouache paint. And then as I just kind of used a little bit of um, 
different colors of different colored pencils here. For example, I can actually continue on with this page. So here's a Black Widow, it's red. And I just kind of went just like this, Alice. It was just like a bunch of a scribble. Light enough for those dark lines to still uh, shine through or pull through. You know, does that make sense? It's very cool. Um, it kind of gives it a glowing effect. Uh, it looks different in a photograph than it does in person. I don't know why. Here's another page for Color and Glide 15 with a, um, a word, a phrase, dear to begin. This page um, is very abstract. And my thought when I was doing this one was that it would be something that we could uh, do in like the Van Gogh Starry Night uh, style with maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know what we'll use. We'll have to see what's happening with, with this one. Don't want to play it ahead too much. You've got to kind of be a little whimsical with uh, and spontaneous when it comes to art, don't you think? Here's just a simple mandala. Um, some of the pages in this book are drawn by hand, like this one right here, the mosaic style. They're drawn, obviously, in different styles that I've already have. Here's some mushrooms. Um, this is a 3D page, 3D style page that will make an appearance. Here's one that's just some patterns with some squares and some rectangles. A lot can be done with that. Here is one that will be grayscale painting. So grayscale painting will also make an appearance in Color Along Volume 15. And we will uh, be doing some grayscale painting um, and really kind of work its magic here and turn this into a silhouette uh, sunset. Here's one with different... Um, with a multitude, it has 12 different objects, 12 different presents and gifts. Thought we'd bring it into the Christmas season, um, looking towards the end of the year, maybe a Nandy Warhol type thing. Here's another grayscale illustration page that will be scanned and it'll be in black and white, not in this color. Here's a page that is similar to the countdown pages, which I, which I thought would be fun for kind of a mixed media type um, page. Lynn says it looks, that looks like fun. It, this book does look like fun to me because it's got a lot of different types of things. Um, and here's another frenzy style mixed in with the still life style. And then here's a page that was from Patrick Frenzy when I was drawing it, but it didn't make the cut to Patrick Frenzy. So it's making it's making uh, its way into Color Along uh, Volume 15. So I'll also have um, three or four grayscale photograph pages to color. So, um, so this morning I want to pull out a page, a piece of paper at least, right? and work on something for today's, uh, for this book as, um, let me see if I can find a pencil. Always seems to be something I'm missing. Um, and just draw something that is going to be for Column Along uh, Volume 15. So, so the draw live, uh, draw lives are, are not happening anymore as part of the memberships. So I thought that I would kind of spontaneously every once in a while jump in with color belongs and uh, and draw some stuff so um see my but i have a list in front of me believe it or not for this book there'll be 22 pages to color in this book and everyone will have a video the price of the book is remaining the same at 14.99 um so it is not changing even though it's an exclusive book and it, everything is drawn exclusively for the book um and it'll be some different types of styles as far as um, similar to my other book. So there'll be some, there's a mosaic page, there's a uh, grayscale illustration. Um, there, of course, are the mushrooms. We have to include the mushrooms. But that countdown style page, I think, was going to be kind of cool. Hey, good morning, Sarah, Jean, and Mamie. Someone made a comment about the Patrick uh, Frenzy book the other day, Marianne, and they said to me... Um, but that would really look like it was, uh, that really looks like it's something that would um, drive me a little crazy. I thought it was a little crazy that they said that to me, to be honest with you. So I don't know what I'm going to draw today. What do you guys think? Should we add a um, hand-drawn mandala to this, uh, to Color Along Volume 15? Should we add a... Um, Another frenzy style page? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to have all frenzy style pages in this book, but should we add a tiny crowd style page? Oh, maybe we should add a dangle style page. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I think, I think I'm gonna add a dangle style page. Maybe we should add a dangle style page that has a word. That would be kind of cool. All right, so we just need a word to, uh, to kind of add to this. So pop out a, Tell me what word we should put on this page. I'm going to start it out with um, just kind of the pencil lines for this particular page.
this will be a um, a dangle style page so if you have any ideas of what word we should include to this for this one I say we like we're all drawing it everyone get a pencil and let's draw hey Debbie um, and of course I'll ink it when we're done with this pencil line I kind of like these because they're more like a, uh, they kind of remind me of like a stained glass type thing, these little dangle pages. The Frenzy book looks like something that you could do in the car when it's a long drive. Patrick Frenzy, do you call it in the car? I think it would, it would um, hurt my head. I don't know. As long as you're not the person driving, right, Sarah? So we need a word, secret. Ooh, that's a good one, Bev. I hate doing an S, but that's okay. All right, we'll have to do secret. I'm gonna put my uh, my lettering skills to the test here, Bev. And S is always a, a tricky one to do. kind of make my my letters kind of touch a little bit but not um we're going to keep them socially distant right the social distance letters here's our c some people can't keep a secret can you keep a secret, Bev? Alice says, I like the pages with the person and dog looking out in the distance that could add trees. Oh, that's true. I like the pages with the dog looking out in the distance too. Maybe I should add that one to the um, to the book too. I gotta put a dog page in there. I'm gonna add it to my list. Dog in distance. It's on the list, Alice. Miriam says, I color in the car all the time. Do you really? I'm always the driver, so I never get to do that. I'll make this, uh, the bottom of the T, touch the E. Get rid of this little, little doodad right there. Oh, guess what I forgot? Oh, Facebook memory loss at, it's at work. The R, no one caught it? <laughs> Talk about Facebook uh, mind games. Where is the R? Thank you. I forgot it, Bev. What can I say? It's in my head. <laughs> it's S-E-C-R-E, -E, right? Whew, how do you spell it? make this uh, T, just kind of touch. Touch the E. What the heck was that? You guys okay? I don't know what that was. I don't know what noise Paisley's making down on the floor. Okay, so there's my S-E-C-R-E-T, right? Is that right? Looks great, though. The R is the secret. The R is the secret. There you go, right? That's true. Hey, Trish, what's going on? I'm going to make these kind of hang. It's the R is the secret. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's the R? What a scribble. All right. It's hidden. Maybe I should have made the R hanging over to the side, right? I spell it I-T. 
secret you mean s e c r i t yeah it is a secret not a secret right alice it's like texture not texture it's texture i wish people would just get it right Some people can't keep a secret. We'll put some hearts in here. Some different squares. Uh, let's see, I'll put another heart here. Don't you hate when you tell, tell a secret to somebody and they're like quick to, quick to tell your secret? That drives me nuts. put another heart here I guess um, and I'm gonna make something hanging from this too I'm just gonna keep it little shapes I guess I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm invading the, um, I'm invading the inside of the R. It's between the R's legs, you know? Don't tell anybody. I feel like I'm like invading its space. All right, so I guess we can see what's going on with some ink now. Let's see if I have a good pen. I finally bought a new set of these pens, but... I don't know if we're gonna have a good time, a good, I'm gonna have any, have good luck with this today. All right, we're gonna go with this one, which is a little bit of a thicker width on this pencil. Blabbing the secret. You like to blab the secret? I don't know, Bev, I'm not telling you anything. All right, so let's see, we're gonna go with a little border here. I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit, sorry about that. So who's excited about coloring camp? Coloring camp, can you believe it? Coloring camp starts in two weeks. Two weeks from yesterday. Do I have that right, two weeks from yesterday? I hope so. Um, sometimes I end up having, um, I end up not counting the days correctly. <laughs> Can't do everything perfectly, right? So there's my E. I'm gonna tuck my C to the edge of it. I have to have a clear head for the S, by the way. There's my R. My E is hanging out right in there. And then we want to make the T just kind of like hugging it a little bit. Secret. Okay, so here is my S. A little bit. I don't really like my ass. I really don't know why. You know what, Bev? Bev is saying, I wish I had a steady hand enough to draw. You know what? I was um, talking to someone the other day who was having some hand pain, and they said, I don't really know if I can paint very well. And anymore and and I said well maybe you just need to um, paint differently so maybe you are just not um, maybe your paintings do not look like they used to and maybe you're now an abstract painter so maybe your drawings are supposed to be like that it's kind of like hey Sharon it's kind of like if you cannot um, draw a straight line then draw a line that is not straight on purpose little tricks right it's the little tricks that are happening so let's see we'll put this line here you think the s is fine i don't really like it but thank you i appreciate it you didn't know that i was my own worst critic I always question whether or not it look how it look how it looks. I'm 
The tip of this marker is much thicker than it ever is, probably because it's old. Of course, you got to kind of give the the letters something to hang on to, right? I thought color one was the cardinal bird today. It is. We um, I started a little bit early, Sharon. I started about tw quarter of today because I am drawing a page from uh, or a couple of pages. Oh, I'm going to draw one page. I'll finish this page and then we'll get started. I'm drawing a page from my new book, Color Log Volume 15, which will be out. Um, I'm shooting for August 1st, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but. That's my goal. And it will start um, September 21st, I believe. So I thought that before we began, I would uh, draw a page for Color Along uh, Volume 15. So sometimes I start a little bit early on Color Alongs. Um, just to confuse everybody, I guess. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. So this page is um, called Secret. Hey Cheryl. You like it, Bev? Thank you. In my mind, I see it better than it is on paper. What do you see better than it is on paper? What you're gonna draw? Oh, so do I, Bev. Don't we all? That's the biggest problem everybody has. The biggest challenge in drawing or any type of art is to draw or paint or create uh, what you see in your head and make it look as good as what you see in your head. I don't make anything. I I don't want to say it's rare, but it doesn't always look like it looks in my head. There's some paintings that I do that it's like, wow, that looks exactly like I wanted it to look inside my head. But that doesn't happen all the time. All right, so I, I'm going to just leave it just like that. So here's the, the secret one. I always find it easy to draw a puffy S from the bottom up for the outer side, Debbie's telling us, of the S. And then from the top down for the inner side of the S, but your S looks great. Thank you. S, an S is very difficult to draw, isn't it? We're using markers. Trish is asking, what are we using today? We are um, using markers. I have Faber-Castell markers and Black Widow pencils. So let's make sure that everyone is is not confused poor sharon sharon says thanks for the explanation i was thinking i was really losing it no i would tell you if you were it's okay sharon we'll give you a badge losing it you know we'll give you one of those i did a birthday drawing and it was posted for everyone to color you can probably see it in heather Berger's group ever saying oh paul i want to see it hey alexandria sarah says do dangle book with words like comparison love you mean like compassion love caring crazy typo right all right so this is the um the the page that i just drew for column one volume 15 so here's what's happening with column one, one volume 15 so we have secret we'll do a quick flip through for those of you that joined us a little bit later and this one is going to be grayscale illustration for column one volume 15 this book has pages that are exclusively drawn for the color along book that has never happened before i only just just kind of like go through the rest of my books assemble a book from pages i already have drawn but this time I'm drawing them completely for this book. A bookmark, these are bookmarks. Uh, we'll do something funky with this, I'm not really sure. Uh, here's one, it says, Dare to Begin. You know, you gotta just kind of jump right into life. Uh, this one I kind of Im imagined in my head that this would be kind of like a Star Van Gogh, Starry Night style uh, color along. Uh, uh, just a mandala. And we have this kind of house here uh, with mosaics, mushrooms. For our mushroom lovers here is a uh, 3d page uh this is boxes and squares we're going to do grayscale painting in um in uh the next color along books so that'll be fun here's just kind of like maybe this kind of be like an andy warhol style type thing this one is another grayscale illustration this one is kind of like the countdown pages. Thought that would be kind of fun. And here's another Frenzy style. And here's a Patrick Frenzy page that never made it into the Patrick Frenzy book. So, almost done drawing this book. Have a few more to go. And then um, 
will be ready to roll. So let's see, we have the secret page is already done. So it'll have a few, I think I have three um, uh, grayscale photograph pages that I'll be drawing for this particular book. Sharon says, oh, I'm excited about this column in one book. I am too, actually. Um, usually I just sit there and I just kind of click, 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 assemble a book and, um, you know, get it over with. But this one is going to be different because it's going to be different than any other book. So not only will it be a color along book for the same price, I'm not going to increase the price. Um, it will be a um, kind of like a variety book. The covers will look different also. I'm not going to make the, all of my color along books look like this. I use that same kind of template. We're going to use a different cover. I'll design a different cover. Um, if I'm really inspired or can do it, I'll try to design the cover online during a live video, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to. Sometimes designing a cover can be a little bit uh, difficult when I do it live. It's hard to, uh, you know, it's hard to concentrate, I guess, type thing, you know? Hey, feel free to share this video. So pop art, pop art is all about uh, bold colors, reds and blues and um, some pop artists that come to mind are Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein. Um, of course, those are the only two that come to mind as I'm sitting here with a live video but it's all about um using a lot of reds and blues and yellows and sometimes the, the roy lichtenstein's ones have a um uh kind of like black specs so we're going to do something along that line so first we're going to start out with a black widow red color and i'm going to call the background of this bird this cardinal this page is from a very very early book that i very rarely promote because when I look at it, I think to myself, boy, my books have really improved since this book. But this book is from, uh, this page is from Whimsical Dogs and Their Animal Pals, a coloring book for the dog lover. And it has pages in it that are all about dogs. There's my dog, Georgia. Here's a bird. Uh, here's another back, a back view of a dog, a frog. Here's that cardinal guy. Um, another dog background. Paisley and Scarlet make an appearance in this book. My friend's dog, Autumn, makes an appearance in this book. Um, so here's my dog willie so here's all these dogs a snail and a lot of the illustrations in this book come from uh my kids books um which feature my dog so i don't really promote this book this book very often but here we are today coloring this little cardinal dude he's kind of got a little bit of an attitude i have not named him i want to call him call but i think that would be boring so i guess we need to name I'm just using a really heavy pressure of this red color. These are the Black Widows that come in the, just the little box, but you can also get these in a tin now. Um, this is from back in the day. These are like when, these are the very first ones that ever came out. They don't have names on them. The Scorpions and the Cobras uh, have names on them, I believe, right? This is, um, This is, someone's asking me if this is the color along. Yes, it is. I thought she was already here. Um, this page is also, Marion is telling us, in big variety. So one of the things that happens during color alongs is that um, if you don't have the color along book, then you can probably find, a, if you have other books, you can probably find what I'm coloring each Monday in another book. But when we move into Color Along Volume 15 and I'm doing, I'll be doing Color Alongs on Mondays for that book, uh, they'll still be free to watch, but the if you want what I'm coloring, you, you'll have to get Color Along Volume 15. So again, those pages will not be in any other book. So it was kind of fun drawing a variety style book. I've never drawn a variety style book. I've always just kind of created a variety book from just a bunch of other books. So it's fun to just kind of draw a variety of pages. Miriam says, I'm using Ladybug Red in tin. What is that, Ladybug Red? Oh, you have Black Widow, you mean? You know, um, I wanted to tell you guys that if you are interested in still signing up for camp, there's never limited availability, you know? Um, and I, but I would say you need to get your book by like July 10th because I was just looking this morning and it says like, it says that the book typically ships in three days. So you want to give yourself a good, uh, good chunk of time. 
uh, to get that book. Sometimes you order, lately I've been ordering stuff from Amazon though and um, it really, it says that it'll be here in two days and then poof, the next day, there it is. So, I was watching Christine C.L. Aldridge yesterday on YouTube. I watch her a lot. And um, she was opening up a brand new pack of pencils, Sargent colored pencils with a castle art. Does anybody have these pencils? Those pencils she was talking about. To me, they look like, um, they look like Shapiro Farben, actually. Maybe this is Ladybug Red, Marianne. I don't know. Because the new tin, he named them, right? I have no idea. Hey, good morning, Libby. So I'm just, I don't know why I decided to do the background first, but hey it's like putting your, your uh, shoes on before your socks I guess now that would be impossible so crazy fireworks this weekend how what do you think I, I can't even believe how bad the fireworks were here and somebody uh, called me and started complaining about them. And I was like, eh, it wasn't a big deal. And boy, did that enrage that person when I said that. I was really bothered by them too. But I decided, I don't know what happened to me. I just decided this year that I was not going to let them rule my life. There was nothing I could do about it. What's the, is that like, uh, you know, is that part of the serenity pant, plant, uh, prayer where you... Um, a new set of Black Widows. The new set. Oh, the new set. Yes, Lynn. You're right. I know. I can't wait. I need to talk to him. Get him to do a giveaway. We don't want to let him get away with not giving away a set of pencils. <laughs> right? How dare he? No, I'll have to give him a call. All right, so there's my red. And now I'm going to use my uh, Faber-Castell markers. This is a grip marker. I didn't really mean for this guy to look very patriotic, but I guess he kind of is looking a little bit, huh? I'm going to give him some blue. I'll do dif different shades of blue for his. Here's another Faber Castell. Different shades for the spots. them aside while I'm using them. Sharon says, I was only bothered by the fireworks going off after midnight. Um, you know, every year I usually get really upset about them, but is that part of the serenity pier? God, what is it? God grant me the, um, something about not being able to, uh, change what you cannot change type of thing. I don't know. It was just a little crazy. There was a house that caught fire around here though. That was pretty bad. It was from the fireworks. But I decided to just not let it get to me. I don't know what happened. Usually Scarlet is really just nuts over fireworks. Like, I have to put a thunder shirt on her, and it's just not a good time at all. And for some reason this year, I guess she has adapted the attitude that, hey, there's nothing I can do about this, and I'm just not going to let it disturb my inner peace because she was fine. And, I mean, she barked a couple of times, but didn't really let it bother her. Paisley, of course, could sleep through anything because she's just uh, cool as a cucumber, that dog. And she just really didn't let it bother her. With everything that's going on, how important are fireworks? Oh, Bev, well, don't even let me get started about that, but I totally agree with you. What are we spending our money on? I mean, let's be realistic, people. What in the world is going on? Why don't you just, I mean... You're just basically lighting your, your, your money on fire. Why are we even doing that? You know, it's like, what is happening? Where are people's priorities? I don't understand. 
stand it. It's like, well, I kind of have that attitude anyway about fireworks. So I think they're just a complete and utter waste of money. And they're loud. And they bother the dog. And that's all that counts for me. Bev says, I don't have... Uh, I don't have dogs or scrand puppies. Oh, those are, those are even better. Because then they get to go home when they're too much, right? Sharon says, Paisley is chill. She's very chill. Except when she wants her way. Usually she's chill. She's even, she's even uh, chill when it comes to... She's a, a determined dog, let me tell you. Sometimes she just wants her way and that's there's no stopping her. A thunder shirt is this shirt that they make for a dog. Or I, I don't know if you can wear it if you're a cat or not. But... Um, it's to calm a dog during loud noises, um, thunderstorms or, um, thunderstorms or fireworks. And the whole concept of it is that it hugs you and it kind of like compresses the body. So if you were going to give someone a hug type thing and it just kind of like, uh, hugs the body of the dog. And then there's just a little patch on it that you can put, um, like a calming, uh, essential oil on it it has like a patch to put it on that spot I've never used it in that way I've just um, I've just always used it so that I just put the, the the shirt on her it's kind of like a flannel gray color it's not flannel though it's like a cotton and um, Scarlet looks like an, looks like she's like you know we call, we call her officer Scarlet when she has that, that on the only part that I don't like about it is that I mean, I'm sure that it would happen to another dog. I'm sure that Scarlet's not the only one that this happens to. But I think the only part that I really don't like about it is when she sees the, the Thunder shirt, she's so already, she's realized that, hey, something bad's about to happen because here comes that shirt again. And that alone makes her panic. And that alone makes her upset. So I've stopped using it for that reason. Put a little bit of yellow right there in that one little spot where we don't even expect yellow to be. Yeah, I prefer PBS fireworks and patriotic music too. But even that, the fireworks have got to go off somewhere, right? Put these little yellow lines here. So the thunder shirt does work, but I know a few people that use hemp drops for their dogs to calm them during fireworks or thunderstorms. Um, I also have another theory that the uh, the way your dog reacts, I don't know if anyone would agree with me, but the way the dog reacts uh, to fireworks is a direct reflection of the maybe how the person is getting upset. I've been a lot calmer about fireworks this year. Not that I was ever like crazy, but um, I don't know, I've had a different attitude. There's bigger fish to fry than the fireworks, I guess. So here's just kind of this blue color, and I am shading it a little bit like that. And then what I'm going to do here on top of this black widow pencil is I'm going to find another blue, if there is one. Um, what color is this? Yeah, that's all right. I'll add this on top of it just a little bit. And then sometimes Pop Art will have some dots. And really, that's like the pixelation of something. So if you look at a photograph really, really closely, like in the newspaper, for example, um, it's made a photograph is made up of all kinds of dots. And not in a pointillism sense, it's just the, those are the pixels. I'm going to pop some information, too, about, the, about other artists here. So I'm just kind of adding it to that section there. And then I'll go back with this color here again but I'm gonna see if I can do the other every others starting with the heavy pressure towards uh, closer to the bird and then finding that other Pencils are not very organized today. This is it right here. Just kind of going on top of this a little bit. Now I'm going to continue that same technique um, on the every others. Let's hope there's an every other. I mean, you don't know. 
let's let's consider who drew this. I don't know if I was really planning planning on it that way. Sharon says, I needed a thunder shirt early when I thought I had the wrong color on. You could just wrap yourself in a blanket, Sharon, and you'll be fine. You know what it kind of reminds me of is, if, are you familiar with Temple Grandin? Um, the woman who created, um, who invented the whole process for slaughtering cattle. How she puts them, they go through that like um, squeeze box type thing and it squeezes them. I mean, it's a terrible thing, right? But um, it squeezes them through. It's supposed to calm them. I think the Thunder Shirt is pretty much like that. Lynn says, I watched Boston Pops. Most of it was a repeat from 2017. Yeah, were fireworks really happening when they had it on TV like that? And the only other thing that I keep seeing on TV a lot, for some reason my TV seems to be stuck on this uh, channel. Every time I turn it on, there's golf on TV. I don't know what happened. Um, are people really still doing stuff like that? I don't know. I just feel like the world is happening, and here I am sitting here saying, I can't go there. like all I want to do is go to the store and buy a pack of gum <laughs> hey Dawn how come you couldn't find the color along Sharon I don't know what happened to you all right so I'm just going to kind of give that I gave all of these two the other you know I was going to say I gave these two the heave ho no I gave these two this color here color right here and then this black marker I'm going to take again and just kind of just kind of in the corner a little decorative type thing nothing too fancy Lynn says I also watch Yankee Doodle Dandy 1776 and Hamilton oh so the um I was gonna watch Hamilton but I didn't know if I really wanted to it felt like the songs were gonna be stuck in my head I mean, even when I saw your post that you were watching Yankee Doodle, Doodle Dandy, I was singing that in my head. Don't even get me started on about on top of spaghetti that Carol Blaze posted. Does that happen to anybody else? You see something, um, and you see like the name of a song, and it's like, oh, there it goes. Um, I have a concert going on in my head now. Sometimes you just have to sing it out. How was Hamilton? Hey, Billy Joe. Debbie says most of the sports are from past years. Oh, I think, thank you. I would hope so. Just kind of giving it that little bit of a, that little bit of a doodad with those, um, those dots. No rhyme or reason. All right, now in the in-betweens here, I think we've got to add some orange. What would a color one be without orange? And I'm going to use a heavy pressure in the in-betweens here. And then lighten up kind of gradation of color there. Again here. So this book, this uh, little character guy, this little cardinal dude, is from one of my kids' books. I have um, I have three kids' books actually that are based on the lives of on my dogs. One of them is based on my dog George's life, and after she died, I honored her life with a book called Biscuits, Balls, and Bones: A Dog's Search for Happiness. And this is where um, this cardinal made an appearance. And then my dog Willie, when he died, I gave, did another book about him. Um, called uh, Eat Sleep Wag. It's a dog's gratitude journal because he was just the most happiest, grateful dog I've ever met in my life. And then um, I'm behind. I should have done another one um, for my dog May, but I did not. So I'm a little behind on that. And I do have another book based on my friend's dog. It's just a, a story that she told me one day. And she said that the dog was outside and a, a toad kept visiting her. So it's called A Dog, A Toad, and A Picnic. And it's a dog's friendship tale. And it's a true story. Lynn says, I must admit that I was not thrilled with Hamilton. Really? I could not understand the words. Oh, no. Thank you, Mary Hannah. 
Thank you, Bonnie Hughes. Libby says, Dinky Doodle Dandy is my all-time favorite movie. I don't think I've ever seen it. It was so fun to see it again. I, do, I don't have Disney Plus, so no Hamilton. Oh, is that the only way you can watch Hamilton? Oh, too many things. I'm just stuck on YouTube lately. I go through this, like, kick of watching YouTube stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I do, but... I'll, I guess I, I'm out of the loop about this whole Yankee Doodle Dandy. I'm just afraid that I'm just going to start singing the song, Lynn. Is that what's going to happen to me? So I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow on this um, orangey area. Kind of the in-betweens. The in-betweens here. In between here. Okay. Now we have these little things along the edge, and I'm, I'm thinking it should be kind of like blue. Thank you, Bev Larson. Bev says, this looks so great. Thank you. Yankee Doodle Dandy is, a, oh, I already read that. Sorry about that, Lynn. I'm repeating myself. See, it's like I'm trying to keep a secret and I can't keep it. <laughs> right? I think I could keep a secret. I think if you told me something, I could, I wouldn't spill the beans. Sometimes I feel like maybe I have, to, I have too many people's secrets. Does anybody ever, does anybody else feel like that? I'll tell you, these Faber-Castell markers, you really can never go wrong with Faber-Castell. And do you guys see Marty Woods? Where is Marty Woods? He, needs, he hasn't really been watching lately. He is becoming a Faber-Castell rep. Lynn says, I watched Knives Out last night. Of course, I had questions, so I asked my daughter late last night. She did not have answers for me. What is that? What is Knives Out? Mary is having no regrets from getting Disney Plus just for Hamilton. Bev says, I'm sorry you mentioned singing as I just sang that song. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bev. You're different, Marianne? Why? Marianne's saying our birds are a little different. What's different about them? It's in the Big Variety Coloring Book Volume 1. Oh my goodness, I have to get the book. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning, Cleo. I haven't seen you in a while. So Marianne is telling me that she has um, Big Variety Coloring Book Volume 1, and the cardinal is in this book, and it's a little different. Is it this one that you're coloring? You're not coloring this one, are you? The word, the, um... This is a cool book. Um... This is a variety of pages, another variety coloring book that is, um, you know, I actually thought about doing um, a coloring book using these variety books. But that would be boring. I'm trying to find it now, Marianne. How far in is it? Lynn says, Lynn Knives Out was a 2019 American mystery film written and directed by Rian Johnson and produced by Johnson and Rian Bergen, a modern whodunit. The film follows a master detective investigating the Patriots' death after a family gathering gone awry. Ooh. I need to watch that. I'm hooked on uh, this Amazon Prime show called uh, Where the Heart Is. I don't know what's wrong with me. Cleo says, how have you been and what are you up to today? Hey, Cleo. Cleo, I've been good. And today I am coloring a page from Color Along Volume 14. Can you believe 14 volumes? And I'm working on Color Along Volume 15. So you're coloring the one with the mosaic background, right? Okay. In the middle?
disturb. It still does that. Why is that? Do you, I don't even know. Oh, you have this one, the chickadee guy. It's before the hamburger. Yeah, Marianne's coloring this one. This is the chickadee. That's not the cardinal, it's the chickadee. It's okay, Marianne. You are excused. We won't ask you to, and I think I just picked up the, excuse me, the wrong marker, but this is like, um, talk about a, a, a bamboozled color along, huh? Bamboozled. Certain people you know you can never tell a secret to, but sometimes we find out too late, Mary saying, oh, been there, my friend. Like, no kidding. Or you tell them something, not really a secret, but you're hoping that they're not going to say something to the person, to a, to a certain someone, right? And then, poof, they blab it. Scarlett's really good at keeping a secret. <laughs> Paisley, not so much. She had a lot to say. So. <laughs> so I'm not really sure if Paisley can be a very good secret keeper. I feel like I have to add some sort of like splash of color to the in-betweens of the blues. And I'm thinking this got to be purple. Let me see what I have here. Although I do really love this pink. Let me see if, if this one's going to make it. It is not. Is this one? That's orange. Uh, let's add this pink. This like bright color pink. Kind of like a hot pink. Oh, I hope it makes it. It looks like it might not. Don't you hate when that happens? You start calling with something and then it just doesn't make it. Look, it's not making it. Oh. There we go. Come on, you little bugger. You gotta make it, squeeze that ink out. Okay. There we go. All right. Sharon says, I'm like a vault. I've got secrets stashed from years ago for many people, overloaded. I am too. I have secrets about people that I have kept for 40 years. 50, well, I don't want to say 50 years. That's that's really, I'm not that old. But let's say at least 30 that I've kept it for like 30 years. And I mean, these are like doozies, Sharon, right? These are like almost like one day, if I'm ever on my deathbed or if I'm ever like in surgery, I do worry about this because if I was ever in surgery or something and I was in, under anesthesia, say I was like having like some sort of, you know, some sort of an anesthesia will make you, it's orange, Cleo, you know, orange. You know, when anesthesia just kind of makes you, uh, you know, tell all. I'm afraid that I might have to be under anesthesia for something and I would, um, I would just like blab. But I feel like maybe when you're under anesthesia like that and you are like pre-surgery or whatever, that maybe what you say, I'm gonna use this light purple for the background. Maybe what you say is not really taken seriously by the doctors. What do you think? Because you could really say anything at that point, you know? I remember when I had my thyroid, when I had thyroid surgery, I do remember being wheeled into the emergency, into the operating room, and I remember it looking like, um, like just white. Like I was kind of like half awake, half, like half out of it. And I do remember saying, wow, this looks nothing like Grey's Anatomy. And I remember them all laughing, cracking up laughing at me. And I think I asked if anyone was wearing hanging earrings and they told me I was crazy at that point. Because why would you wear earrings, right? Sharon says, me too. I worry about spilling my guts under hypnosis or something like that. Me too. I know. Oh, that's, this is not good, Sharon. You know? Maybe we need to write down these deep, dark, these secrets that we're carrying for people. And we need to uh, write them on a piece of paper and have some sort of like uh, ritual and we can put them in a bucket and we can set them on fire. You know, they say to do that with different things. Like if you have like a fear of something and you want to let it go, you can have like a little ritual to let it go. 
I know, sometimes I don't really like the secrets that I carry. I am like a vault though too. You could tell me something and it's going nowhere. But it's pressure like that, isn't it? Isn't it pressure, Sharon? It's pressure. It's like now you, it's almost like sometimes people tell me stuff and I think to myself, don't please don't tell me that. I don't really want to know. Forget TMI. It's like it's not even TMI. It's more like um I, I just cannot be responsible for holding that information for you. All right, let's see what else we can put on be, from behind here. I'm thinking maybe like some blue or something. Um, there's my purple. Uh, well, I could use this color blue, but I'm gonna give it a sharpen. Hang on a second. See if I can find my pencil sharpener. Okay. Sharon's coming. Yes, but wouldn't we still know them? She's talking about the um, burning of the secrets in the ritual, in the bucket. Yeah, we would still know them, but I don't know. Maybe it would be like a lighter thing. I have no idea. All I know is to get out your fire extinguisher when you're ready to do that because I have a feeling that it, the, the fire may be big. Lynn says, I watched the first three episodes of Grey's Anatomy last, last week. It was so good to see 007 McDreamy. What is 007? I know McDreamy. Hey, talk to you soon, Bev Larson. Thanks for joining us. So much pressure. I feel like one of those pressure parts. Oh, that's not good, Sharon. Maybe you should paint what you know. How about that? Paint your secrets. Paint the secrets. Well, wouldn't that be interesting? You could do a painting that would be all about painting the secrets. That would be a, quite an abstract painting. I bet it would be, be look like uh, more of like surrealism. Oh, well, maybe I should start doing that. Paint the secret. Just imagine how a dog feels when you tell them things and they just can't say it. It's like they're bursting at the seams. I always tell Scarlett that she knows all my secrets. She just rolls her eyes at me. Lynn, I don't know about this 007 thing. What are you talking about? So I was thinking this morning about uh, the music for Coloring Camp. <laughs> I think of these crazy things like at odd hours. But anyway, I'm thinking that, um, should we have music this time like we did last time? You know, my opening intro music? I guess so. I'm not sure if we should have it. What do you guys think? I'm very limited with what I can use for that intro music because I've got to use something that's like approved. All right, I'm going to add some yellow. This is a, probably my only choice of yellow in this Black Widow box. Um, just kind of add it a little bit. Look how it's kind of glowing now. This is similar to that page that I did, Alice. Um, Sharon says, I wonder if one could be hypnotized to forget the secrets. Um, I don't know, but I do know that there is this technique that you can use. Like, say there's something that happened to you that was really bad and you wanted to forget it. There's this thing. I think it's called the somatic technique. It's a way to forget the bad experience. I have to look it up. I, I always, I saw it long ago. Anybody know about this? I saw, saw it long ago and then I've always uh, been looking for it, but um, I've never found it after that. Hey, Cheryl. Are you saying yes to the music? Lynn says, George was named 007, a license to kill when his patient died in his first surgery. When he was hit by the bus later in the series, it almost like double set in Meredith's hand. Oh. I don't think you're going to get a mental disease from all the secrets you hold, Sharon. I don't think so. Too many, though, right? Oh, my goodness. It's like if these walls could talk type thing, you know? Maybe you need to tell them to somebody. Like, I'm saying, like, a pet. I'm not saying, like, a real person. Okay. So that's what we're doing with this. Pretty cool. So this is our pop art style. Kind of just bright colors. Yes to the music. Yeah, I guess. All right, we'll do the music then. Why not?
yellow snow rosy. Don't eat the yellow snow, right? Don't eat the yellow snow is what they say. All right, so this guy is done with a D, D U N done. I am just gonna kind of add some little uh, embellishments of some black dots on the middle of my yellow strips and calling it done. So before I sign off though, I will uh, take another look at Color Along Volume 15. So Color Along Volume 15 is gonna start September 21st or so, I believe. I have to get the book finished for us before I can, uh, I think that's like my tentative date. And um, where is my folder? Oh, Paisley's not good with secrets, Sharon. You know, Paisley. She might include it in, your daily, in her daily message. You don't know what she's going to do. Sometimes she just says whatever she feels like saying. I have no control over it, you know. All right, so this is our, speaking of secrets, here we go. This is what got us started in this whole thing. So Color Along Volume 15 is going to have these crazy pages in it that are drawn exclusively for this book. Grayscale illustration, some line art, some bookmark pages. Oh, those are always fun. Um, pumpkin pages because it'll be fall. I love a pumpkin. Uh, Dare to begin. Another good page. Um, here's a page that I kind of envisioned being a, it was like a light yellow color. Yes, it was Cleo. Um, I kind of envisioned, envisioned this to being kind of like a Van Gogh Starry Night type page. Mandala. We've got this house with the mosaics. Of course, we've got some mushrooms for my friend Lynn. And we've got a 3D page. Just some patterns and boxes. This would be cool to uh, create different um, maybe patterns in. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this yet. We're going to do grayscale painting. And this is um, the gifts. Marianne is, saying, is asking a question here. What is the prompt word for today? Marianne is talking about in the Just Call Coloring Group, we have um, Christmas in July happening. And the daily prompts for now in the next couple of weeks are going to be all about uh, posting something that is Christmas related. And Marianne, honestly, I don't know the answer to your question <laughs> because, all right, Santa, color a page with Santa. Um, I really don't know the answer to that question off the top of my head because I, um, I scheduled those all ahead of time. Lynn is saying it is going to be difficult to wait for color amongst color the pages. Well, Lynn, there will be two copies of each page in this book. So here's one that's like a countdown page. And here's another one that is similar to um, the Frenzy, but it's mixed with uh, Still Life. And here is the Patrick Frenzy page that never, ever made it to the book. Remember that page when I said I made a mistake? Well, we have a use for it. All right, so what is left for this book that I need to draw? Let me see. I actually have a list. Um, I'm going to do a dog in the distance. I've got another page. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, actually, let's do four grayscale photograph pages. Um... So I'll have four grayscale photo pages in it. And um, I've got that dog in the distance to draw, and then I've got some photos to take. So I'll be taking taking some photographs to put into this book. Maybe I'll take some photographs today. That'll be kind of fun. All right, so that is today's column along. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you can find today's page in column along volume 14, or you can also find today's page in... Uh, Whimsical Dogs and Their Animal Pals, which is a book I very, very rarely promote, but it's an early book that I did back five years ago. Um, and then our next color along, we only have uh, one more color along happening for the month of July because we've got to make sure we are up to date here. Let's see. We've got this one all done. This one. Got to check them off. Here's today. Okay. The next color along is happening on... I don't know why this is the 20th. Is this the wrong schedule here? Hmm. I think it is. All right, this one right here, let's see. Let's use this one instead. We've got all of these done. So, we are on, we've just finished this one. This one is the 13th. There is no color along on the 20th. Hey, have a great day, Sharon. 
Diana says, sorry, been in and out. Do we have a countdown to camp page? I don't have a countdown to camp page. I feel like it was, I dropped the ball on it. I don't have a countdown to camp page because I think that I got lost in the Christmas and July thing. I've had kind of a rough uh, few days, you guys. Um, a lot of crazy things have happened. And um, I don't know. My apologies. I'm not doing countdown to camp. All right. So we've got 713, which is our next call along in July. There is no color along on Monday, the 27th, because that's the day after coloring camp. And I always uh, take that day as having no color along so we can kind of regroup. And then um, so we have another call along on the 13th, which is next week. And then we'll have no color along on the 20th because that's coloring camp. We're taking the week of the 27th off and then we we'll resume back on uh, on um August 3rd. August. Can you even believe it? Jean says you need to put a sloth page and a Christmas page. You know, I was trying to not to make it very holiday-ish. Maybe I could do a... Um, maybe I could do the dog one Christmassy. Not sure about the sloth. Maybe I'll do the dog one Christmassy. That would be kind of cool. All right. So, hey, have a great day, everyone. Stay cool. Enjoy the day. Don't think about the secrets. And I will talk to everyone soon. See you all, see you all next week. Have a great day.